Now, get this. It should be known that the plutonium was specifically created to adapt the behavioral pattern and mannerism of any living organism in which consciously he begins to mentally mimic the consciousness of whoever he is close to and his evolutionary process was increasing at a very fast rate than normal which bewildered his parents as they can see and observe his growth for just being in their presence had made the plutonium more powerful or should I say he's beginning to understand his own limitation so in his arrogance underestimating his parents he tried to leave and escape the timeless zone but daddy Pluto wasn't having none of his son's trickery as he snapped his finger and this resulted in the ripping off of the plutonian's skin as mommy Pluto whom felt sorry for her son objected to this punishment in which she told daddy Pluto that their son cannot be faulted for evolving and trying to leave the timeless zone for it is embedded in his DNA to hunger for knowledge and this was his genetic legacy. Daddy Pluto made mommy Pluto see that apart from their son's evolution he is also instinctively learning about the forces that created them in which is causing him to understand his own powers more. But Daddy Pluto see this as dangerous for their son, the Plutonian, is not disciplined. Accepting him, punishing and scolding him with violence was the wrong way to go about things. So the Plutonian's ripped skin was reformed. So Mommy Pluto asked the Plutonian if he was going to defy or challenge them. And the Plutonian said he had no intention in having a conflict with them. In his own sincere way, accepted being disciplined, but that they should show him love for for he is not accustomed to being controlled but that the Pluto was not falling for his son's all of a sudden meekness as he questioned the Plutonian on his temperament for a while ago he was raging against them that where did all that anger go in which the Plutonian replied that apart from him being what he is their offspring he is no different than any other normal human being in behavior as he is propelled to act this way emotionally but one question that stuck in his mind is why he is just learning of them and where have they been the truth behind the Elias absenteeism in the Plutonian's life was because many years ago when they were observing and studying humans the world government was aware of them and also studying them the world government wanted to catch and control them so they created and manipulated a massive amount of lethal radioactive field and before the Elias could catch their bearings they found themselves trapped with Within this radioactive field. At first, it didn't make any sense to the Plutonian for he bathed in radiation for relaxation. And since his parents were powerful like him, that was an impossibility. But they made the Plutonian understand that if they moved or tried to release themselves from the radioactive field in which they can, the consequences will be catastrophic for humanity. For the radioactive field was so unstable that any attempt by them to make any move will shatter its fragile containment and it will end humanity and other neighboring planets close to earth so the world government constructed a facility around them to contain them and made them have limited communications with guards and observers and through this individual they came to be aware of his evil deeds and what hurt them the most is them being released as it costs a lot of lives in which will kill one third of the population so they asked the Plutonian if he thinks their sacrifice is in vain. The Plutonian not knowing how to go about this question told them to look into his mind and see his sincerity but they want him not to play the self-righteous card with them for they understand that he is evolving rapidly but they wanted to know where he got the concept of the greater good and what inspired him to become a hero or was this notion self-developed in which he told them that he got his inspiration from his foster father by the name Bill Hartigan whom had a beautiful wife and they were not freaked out on Anthony Dan Hartigan's ability accepting that their foster son was special and to be honest different so instead of being alarmed Bill Hartigan his foster father was excited by putting him to work in training him on how to use his abilities Bill Hartigan and his wife had no children so they decided to adopt Anthony Bill was a good man to a fault a principled 
sacrificial personality who care about others' needs before his own, and he piously drowned himself in this religiously, even against his wife's advice. This principle he embedded into his foster son, Anthony Dan Hartigan. Remember and keep this in mind that Anthony Dan Hartigan as a probe was specifically created by his progenitors to adapt the behavioral pattern and mannerism of living organisms, in which makes him follow his foster's father's principle religiously. There was a time Bill Hartigan bought his son presents for Christmas, and after Anthony Dan Hartigan had accepted and opened his presents, excitingly happy for this present, Bill Hartigan forced his son to give out this same Christmas present away to the needy against his wife's objection, in a way to teach him to care more about people's needs than his own. And this Anthony Dan Hartigan took to heart without objection, for he loves his father, for this moment in his life was the happiest. Now, it was getting to the time Anthony Dan Hartigan was getting ready for college in the city and very soon he was going to leave home and be on his own. For Bill Hartigan had done all he can in his powers in training his son on how to use his powers. So he made some preparation in getting him a part-time job as an engineer at a radio station and telling his son that he has to create two identities for the fewer people know about his abilities, the better. For he had been trained to use his abilities for the greater good. And this was the creation of the symbolism of Pluto by Bill Hartigan, which was the acronym which stands for Pity, Loyalty, Utility, Truthfulness, and Order. And it was a constant reminder to the values he embedded into his son, Anthony Dan Hartigan. As I have been emphasizing that you should be aware that Anthony Dan Hartigan as a probe was specifically created to adapt the behavioral pattern and mannerism of any living organism. Well, Bill Hartigan was happy that his son was going to be a grown-up man with values he embedded in him and letting him know that him and his mother are proud of him and that they will always love him. For in truth, they loved Anthony and he was grateful for it. Moreover, he was more grateful that his father had his whole life sought out except when it comes to his wife. In which Bill Hartigan asked him what does he mean by that as Anthony revealed to him that for a while he had been watching an inoperable cancer grow inside of his mother. In perplexity, Bill Hartigan in sadness and bewilderment questioned his son why he never told him earlier about his wife's condition in which Anthony replied him that he had always tell him to put their needs and concern last and think of others as Bill Hartigan broke down in tears and at that that time, Anthony Dan Hartigan couldn't comprehend his father's sadness. And a week later, with his wife, while coming back from the oncologist, Bill Hartigan drove into upcoming traffic and there was an accident which cost the lives of the couple. At that time, the Plutonian saw it as an accident, but relieving the memory, he can see it was murder suicide, for he now understand that his foster father couldn't live with himself, and the Plutonian knows the damage was done, and sincerely blamed himself for their untimely death. So he had no other choice left but to move on with his life, becoming the Plutonian, and had a romantic relationship, made new superhuman friends and vigilantes. Everybody trusted him, and took him at face value except his best friend the hornet and he like everyone else look up to cubit for he was a man of high moral integrity but there was this individual whom he met and had a conflict with in the past from colesville the teenager by the name max damage was all grown up and had the powers of being super strong and super tough his skin was as hard as steel and the reason why the plutonian can't stand him is it's mainly because he gives the Plutonian this weird look that people used to give him back in the days. And he was also a reminder of his days as the legendary wolf boy of Colesville. There was a time Mac Damage kidnapped his one-time lover Alana Patel just to spite him. 
and Max Damage was certain that the Plutonian was the legendary wolf boy of Colesville and that he was not who he is portraying to be to people. Challenging the Plutonian to a fight, Max Damage at first showed an improved new him by punching the Plutonian so hard he flew out of sight. But a returning Plutonian came back with rage, beating the hell out of Max Damage. If not for the sake of Alana Patel, who pleaded to him to stop, he might have killed him. For he never loses his cool, even when he is under pressure. But Max Damage knows how to get under his skin. Now, at this moment, gone through evolution within himself felt refreshed for he had been enlightened about his origins he is beginning to gain new senses new powers and new perception his atomic structure is rebuilding itself and this is caused by the influence of his parents the Elios and in so much joy in his self-discovery the Plutonian begged his parents to do whatever with him by taking him with them so that he can be happy without second thoughts they dragged the Plutonian back into the timeless zone as he began to plead with them but his parents insisted that his punishment still stands despite them being very sure that he is repentant and they have no doubt that he regrets his actions but regrettably by leaving him in the timeless zone was the only way he can be absolved of his sins so in sadness his parents the Elias, left him in the timeless zone and told him good by. The Plutonia was left in a pool of dark emptiness. It was cold and void. He was unable to use his arms and legs as he was thinking of what to do, how to escape this darkness. But he drifted further into the belly of the timeless zone. All of a sudden, a familiar voice came into the scene. It was Cubit to the rescue and Max Damage was with him. 